today we're going to be doing screen replacements. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the footage that we want to make a screen replacement in, and it is called Jake Computer 2. I'm going to right click it and select New Comp from Selection. Now I'm just going to go to what we want to put in the screen, which is Zoom Meet, Zach and Alex. I'm just going to turn this into a 3D layer and I'm going to try and position it using this little 3D icon uh, the best I can into place where it would be if it was on the screen. Once that's through we're going to add a mesh warp effect and I'm going to change the boxes to two uh, because we don't need that many. And Now we're going to match um, the same perspective as the screen that we're trying to project this image onto. And I'm just selecting these points and bumping them using my arrow keys. But you can also click and drag it with the mouse. I'm going to speed this process up here. Now that we've gotten that into a good position, I'm going to turn off the visibility for the screen so that we can just work with the keying. And I'm going to type in key in the effects panel. And a lot of people, when they use the keying in After Effects, they just use key light. But instead, I'm going to start with color key. And I'm going to select a shade of green with the eyedropper and turn down the tolerance. And you'll notice that the color key has allowed us to see other shades of green that we wouldn't be able to see. So I'm just going to turn up the tolerance a bit and you can see this other shade of green that needs to be taken out. So I'm going to use another key. I'm going to grab that shade and turn down the tolerance. And now we've got a pretty clean key except for the edge. So the way to fix that edge is to apply a simple choker. And once we put that effect on, we can bring it to a negative value so that it grows the edge. And it actually preserves that soft edge that you see along our actor's shoulder right there. So now to clean up that edge but keep it there, we're going to apply key light. And it can do the heavy lifting along that edge and keep it and keep a good edge for us. So I'm just gonna hit the lightest shade of green. And as you can see, we have a preservation of that soft edge. I'm gonna move our screen underneath it. But you can also see that there's a few problems that we've got going on. You'll notice that the green and yellow on his sweater has been taken away and is partially see-through. So we're going to fix that by duplicating the original footage right here. And we're going to get rid of all of the effects that were applied to it. So we've just got a clean slate. And now I'm just going to draw a rough mask around his sweater so we can preserve those colors. Now I'm just going to turn up the feather to about 20. And I'm going to go along through the footage every three frames and adjust the positioning of the mask. So I'm just going to open up the mask path and make a new keyframe and scroll through three frames and adjust the mask as I see fit. And once that's through, you can see that we've actually got a pretty good effect. Um, the soft edge is still preserved, and the movement is good enough that people won't actually notice it if they look too hard, uh, because their eye is focused on what's in focus, which is the screen. The last thing I'm going to do is try to blend the zoom meeting screen a bit more with the footage. I'm just going to apply some a saturation effect and desaturate it slightly. And I'm also going to add a blur. So just a quick Gaussian blur and set it to 10. And the very last thing I'm going to do is decrease the opacity of the zoom meeting. And that's it. Thanks for watching.